Here is another problem related to percent compositions. Now, when you are looking at this problem, you might realize that you can use dimensional analysis to solve this problem, but we're going to approach it in more of a ratio and proportion type method. So the first thing you might notice is that it's asking for the mass of just sodium in 450 grams of sodium chloride. We're talking about sodium chloride, NaCl, you should know that formula off the top of your head, and um, we're talking about a part, sodium being the part, out of the whole thing, sodium chloride, so a part out of the whole. Essentially, I'm asking what mass of sodium is in 450 grams of sodium chloride. Well, if I'm going to use approach this problem with using ratios and proportions, I might want to go back to what I know about one mole of sodium chloride. I can use my periodic table and find the mass of sodium to be 22.990 grams per mole. This is the mass of sodium in one mole of sodium chloride. So this is the part that we're going to be using in just a moment. The whole molar mass of sodium chloride is 58.443. You might remember from the molar mass video or from class that Na plus Cl on our periodic tables um, equal the sum of Na plus Cl is 58.443 grams. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to set up a ratio here with the part of sodium out of the whole molar mass of sodium chloride. So now this just becomes an algebra problem. I can cross multiply I can simply divide 22.990 divided by 58.443 and multiply both sides by 450. But whatever method of algebra you use, you should get an answer for X as 177 grams of sodium. So 177 gram, 177 grams of sodium is how much sodium there is if you had a sample a large sample of 450 grams of sodium chloride, so like a bunch of salt, and the percentage of salt stays the same, the ratio of sodium in salt stays the same, which is how I was able to calculate there's 177 grams of just sodium content in 450 grams of sodium chloride.